Would you like a reasonable quality USB microphone with a flexible boom for under a tenner? Of course you would. Keep watching to see how I did it. Hi, my name's Jenny List, and it's time for another exciting instalment of What's on Jenny's Bench. A few weeks ago, I found this microphone in a bunk box of junk at a second-hand store. It caught my eye because it has a Logitech logo on it, and I was able to buy it for the Princess Arm of £4. When I got it home, I googled it, and I found that it's actually a gaming accessory sold a few years ago for a previous generation of consoles to play all the sort of rock band type games that were popular at the time. You can find this same microphone with a variety of different logos on it. I've seen Sony ones, I've seen Konami ones, and there are various others around. I don't think Logitech sell it anymore, but it might even still be uh, in production. I've seen it advertised for somewhere around £25, and for that price, you get a reasonable quality microphone. It's not a superlative broadcast microphone, but £25 new and £4 second hand. I'll take it. Trouble is, it's just a little vocal microphone. It's made in the style of your professional vocal microphones, but of course it doesn't have the XLR on the back. It's permanently wired in. It's made of lightweight plastic and it has a USB connector rather than an uh, analog audio connector. So how am I going to use this microphone? I need a microphone over my bench. So what do I do? This is an IKEA Quart lamp. They have been selling this lamp for many years now in a variety of different forms. It comes, this one is designed to clamp onto something. It also comes with a desk mount and I believe it even comes as a tall one with like a standard lamp. Uh, secondhand shops are full of them. I think you can still buy them brand new from Ikea. This one, yet again, cost me four pounds from a secondhand shop. Uh, I actually bought more than one and I find these older ones, what normally happens if you unscrew the bulb, This connector in here is often very brittle with age. So even though they're, they're sold as working and they work, they usually don't have many years left in them because eventually that connector will break the bulb holder. So it's quite easy because the bulb holder is inevitably brittle to break it apart with a pair of screwdrivers. And eventually you get down to this on the end of the flexible neck. Uh, it's a nut and bolt and with a long pair of uh, pliers you can get in there and undo it and take off the bell of the lamp. So you're left with this flexible neck. You can pull the mains cable out and you can even run a wire up the middle of it. I'm not going to do that in this case. I needed to fix my microphone to that. And so what I did was I ran up a little 3D printed model in OpenSCAD. Now, first of all, I made a piece to fit on the end of the IKEA Quart uh, flexible neck. It goes to a standard uh, action camera fitting. I don't know if this is specifically a GoPro fitting, but it's the one you'll find on all sorts of cheap action cameras as well as the GoPro ones and an enormous amount of accessories are available for it. Now, I didn't actually have a microphone holder accessory, so I also put together this one. Uh, it's sized for the Logitech or Sony or Konami or whatever microphone, but if you look on my GitHub site and find the original files, you can probably easily change the dimensions between here and here, the sort of tapering tube to make your own microphone holder. It prints all in one. I've put an STL file up as well. It prints like this uh, in one piece and up the middle, I've also put a pin. Uh, so you can actually make uh, a hinged version. This one relies on the friction of the joint to keep it together. Uh, it's not perfect. And if you want to hold more, then it's easy to get hold of these nuts and bolts as used with the action camera fittings. Uh, the pin is enough to take the weight of the Logitech microphone, and that's it. So if I 
Assemble it, it's pretty easy to assemble. You just slide the nut from the IKEA thing into the side of the fitting. And then if you can just get it to locate, it will just screw on. Then you just slide in the, whoops, get it right. Slide in the microphone holder and just put the bolt through the hole. I'm guessing the cost of this 3D print, uh, I haven't factored in the power, but it's certainly only about sort of 20 pence or so's worth of PLA filament. And that makes a very good and very sturdy microphone holder. Um, when it's not being shown off by me in a video like it is now, it uh, comes down, I have a big roll top desk, my bench, and it's clamped to the top and it comes down right in front of me. So here we are. For a tenor, I have equipped myself with a reasonable quality USB microphone on a flexible gooseneck stand. I think that's good value, don't you? I don't have a sponsor for my videos, but as before, I'd like to take this moment to talk about something else I'm involved with away from my career writing about tech. I am a board member of a small non-profit called TransRescue. We get trans people like me out of dodgy and dangerous places around the world. I'd like you to go to our website, read our blog and see what we're up to. And if you can, help us in our work. Thanks very much and thank you for watching this video.